breaking news. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Carry on, gents. Boss says it's time to get the bat's attention. Batman sighted, boss. Right on top! Commissioner, get to safety. I can't just leave these people. You have to stop them. Save our city. Commissioner! Commissioner! He's... He's gone. Alfred. Oh, thank God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent... Penguin improved the armor. Batman! Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me off in a police commissioner. <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Grogan's death is on you. And I'm here to make sure you pay oh, for it. Oh, Batman, those are just words. Words can never hurt you. Unlike this drum here, which is designed to cause quite a bit of pain. Ta ta, Batman! No, no, come on, just stay put. Just find a way to hack into it. I can get to Penguin. 
He's made improvements, even deadlier than before. Wayne Tech, in Penguin's hands. It's a dangerous weapon. men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that... The Batsuit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce. Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable, but far from helpless. Penguin would never pass up an opportunity to gloat. He'll be happy to talk to his old friend, Bruce Wayne. And while he's busy talking, you'll be figuring out a way to stop him. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan. And that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is... Wayne, get back! Martinez! I saw some kind of transmitter hidden behind the statue. Hey, give us room. A transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two bit thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. Oswald and I grew up together. A little trip down memory lane could buy you at least a couple minutes. That's all well and good, but he wants you dead. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. <laughs> I'll smash all the dumb faces.
Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got away in Cobblepot Park. Oswald! Bruce! Welcome! The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect lure! Not that I'm upset, but... What does bring you by, hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still, I'm tough to pop by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. Maybe he's closer than you think, just waiting for his moment to strike. Oh, we'd know if he was. I've arranged quite the sounding light show for his arrival. And when he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of the picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine, or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city. I know Lady Arkham's real name. She's Vicky Vale. Oh, did you figure that out when she stuck you with a needle full of drugs? I've done all right by all this brouhaha. It wasn't so long ago that you and me met in this very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. I always treated you with respect, Oz. Respect? Oh, don't make me laugh. You only learned the word after I tossed you out of your company. Wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? If anyone could afford to keep that brute on the payroll, it's you. Just me. Same as it's ever been. Always alone, Bruce. Might have something to do with your temperament. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed bat. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some issues there, eh, hey, Bruce? I am truly sorry for what happened, Oz. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I, I was drugged and... You? Pity me? I'm the one on top now, Bruce. And it's about bloody time. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal our fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! The Waynes caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You trying to get me all shaken up? I'm not waiting any longer. Batman, my dad. We're done chatting, old friend. I'm releasing these drones. You'll make mutton out of you and all the lawmen around this park. Your mother deserved Arkham. You heard me, she was insane. Unfit to walk the streets. And you know it. I'll kill you! I'll kill you, you... Oh, bloody hell! to answer for. Oh, you bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? <clears throat> <laughs> Is that all you've got? 
Show some dignity and defeat, Oswald. Freedom is right. I gotta admit, you surprised me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. Thank you. You and me both, Lieutenant. I won't argue there. Do you think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. Never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea of where she is than we do. How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave, but it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. N not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, it wasn't by choice. And me. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This... this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham... Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. You're right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, and finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Damn it. I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. Damn it. Still offline. I need to get this working again. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? 
Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. Oswald was... was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... sociology? And my medical records. There are some... well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's better. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bat computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. 
reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums, all to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. The device she stole. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selina.